Hi, my name is Elizabeth Klosterman and this is Stacy Nunnery. Hey there. Uh, we wanted to talk to you today about some of our most frequently asked questions that we get from our clients visiting Habersham who are interested in building a new home in our neighborhood. So Stacy, uh, where do we start? Uh, that's probably the most common question. Mm -hmm. People want to know, gosh, do we buy a home site first? Do we pick out a house plan first? How do you usually uh, answer that question? Well, I do get that question a lot and um, you know, the building process can be very daunting. So what I tell people is, let's start with your budget. And um, a lot of times they will tell me exactly what kind of house they want and I'll pick out a plan. And then if they like that or they like several plans that I show them, then from there I know how much they have left over to, uh, to spend on a lot. And um, so sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes they know exactly where they wanna be in the neighborhood and we start by finding a good lot for them and then whatever's left over in their budget is what we use to um, pick out a house plan. Yeah, and I'll also say that we have a lot of clients who will come to Habersham, fall in love with the neighborhood, and because we tend to sell lots these days pretty quickly, um, they will go ahead and secure a home site in the part of the neighborhood that they love and wait to figure out what type of house plan to build for a couple of years until they're ready to start that process. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Elizabeth, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do we find a house plan? Where are they? Are they on your website? Yeah, that's a great question. So Habersham has uh, over 100 house plans that are featured on our website, all shapes and sizes if you will. Uh, you go to www.habershamsc.com and if you go to the upper right hand corner, you'll see an icon for new homes. Click on it, scroll um, down the page a bit, and then you're going to see a search function for house plans. You can search by builder or you can search by square footage also a number of bedrooms, I believe. One of the questions I get asked a lot, Elizabeth, is do I have to use a Habersham Builder? Yes, yes, you do have to use a Habersham Builder. We have nine builders in our Habersham um, Builders program. Those nine builders um, are very accustomed to building in our neighborhood and they have been vetted for quality to build in our neighborhood. So you can rest assured that when you land in the hands of one of our nine Habersham Builders, you are in very, um, very good hands. Another question that I'm often asked, Stacy, is how long does it take to build a house in Habersham? And then I'll follow that right up with something along the same lines, uh, which is a question of time frame um, to start building the house after the yeah. lot is purchased. Right. So um, in Habersham, when you buy a lot and close on it, I tell people it takes approximately a year before their house will be finished. There's you know, permitting that has to be done and, and then the construction process itself typically takes about nine months. As far as when you have to start building your house um, after buying a lot, you really have up to five years. So there's, there's not a rush. Uh, we'd like for you to go ahead and get started, but if you need a little time, um, you know, you wanna wait a little bit before building, that's fine too. Stacy, a lot of times our clients will ask me, well, you know, I'm gonna purchase a home site, but I still live in, let's say, Ohio, and I'm not gonna be moving to South Carolina during the time in which my house is being built. Tell me about how your builders and you as an agent stay in touch with me and make me feel comfortable during that process of being away or out of state while my house is being built here in Habersham. Right, well, um, our builders, first of all, are all very good about um, when, when you have your initial meeting with them, they will sit down with you and explain the process and make sure that you are well aware of how long things are gonna take. And, and they're very good about keeping in touch through emails. Um, but one of the things I like to do is, um, and I think this really just makes people feel comfortable and to help them be a part of the process when they're far away. I like to get on my golf cart after work and I'll go check on new build uh, sites and um, I might walk up to the front porch and take a great sunset picture and send that to them. Um, and, and that makes them feel good, you know, and with a little note just saying, here's what your, your sunset views are gonna look like pretty soon. Um, so I, I like to uh, just 
kind of keep them in the loop and make sure that um, they don't have any questions and if there's anything I need to do to help them, I'm always happy to do that. Yeah, we're usually pretty involved with our builders and our clients while their house is being built. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, you know, I like the floor plan of this particular plan, but I don't especially like the outside of it. I might want to make some changes. So I get asked, are we allowed to do that? Yeah, uh, the answer is a resounding yes, you can. So um, Habersham has a look, right? A lot of houses in Habersham look like they have been here uh, for a hundred years. And one of the reasons is because we use the old architectural standards, the divine ratio, we're building windows to scale with the house. So, you know, kind of rolling that into the answer to your question is we can have two house plans that are identical floor plans sitting side by side with each other, but we can make architectural shifts on the exterior of those houses where you would never know that those were twin floor plans sitting next door to each other. Absolutely, the fastest way to do this is to have a blue house and a white house, you know, and not have the exact same color sitting next to each other either. Um, we can also shift architectural styles with columns. So one house might have a square column and the next house would have a round column. Stacy, sometimes I have people ask me, um, you know, what comfort can I offer them about the process of building a home in Habersham? Well, yes, I get asked that as well. And one of the things I always like to tell people is that um, we work, first of all, very closely with the developer of Habersham and he is also our broker in charge and he works with us and um, he's available for any kind of question. He's also very good at uh, offering creative solutions. Um, if there's a plan that has a little bit of a problem or needs tweaking, um, he's very good at, about figuring that out and have been working with the builders um, to come up with a solution. So Elizabeth and I both live here in the neighborhood as well as work here. So we are available anytime for any kind of questions that you may have about the building process. We're happy to speak with you. So just give us a call anytime.